When the first balloon flights took place in France in 1783, 1784, they generated this wave of excitement that just swept across Europe. And part of that excitement was reflected in the production of commercial goods, everything from prints that would show people what the balloons and the balloonists looked like, to the image of balloons on ceramics, on furnishings, clocks, you name it. The collection of balloonomania that we have at the National Air and Space Museum really is one of the world's best collections. For the most part, it was created by a few really stellar collectors in the 1920s and 30s. William A. M. Burden, Harry Guggenheim, Bella Landauer, all of whom had interesting connections to the Smithsonian all of whom were wealthy and world-class collectors. And they were buying this material at a time when you could create that sort of a collection. We really owe those folks an enormous debt for what you see in the balloonomania cases today. These are some of the oldest objects in the museum collection, and they're the donation of those great collectors.